So a part of our education yes, sir. is that in our ancient traditions, we are taught to be able to recite by heart seven generations back. And it is the duty of the father and the parents to plan seven generations forward. So Queen Mother Mashariki gave me questions to answer, so I'm attempting to answer all these questions as I talk. So the injury on my family was that they stole my history, my culture, and my heritage. Yes, sir. There was a young man I was very disappointed in. I forget his name, Mr. Coleman, I think he was yesterday. He uh, was one of the miseducated Negroes. Now, I could assault this man verbally and say bad things about him, and he was bootlicking, butt dance, and all these kind of things. I could say all those things, but I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. No, I would say that he is, oh, I would say that he is miseducated as Carter G. Woodson stated to us about his own history, heritage, and his culture. Yes, they have stolen our history and heritage and culture. They will not teach it to us in our schools, and therefore, in our reparations, I don't want any school for my children on the reparations that we are going to receive yes. to be under their tutelage. Yes. That's right, brother. Come on. We need institutions that are run by us, for us, and I don't want no white teachers, no white oversight, no uh, overseeing the curriculum, right. or anything of that nature. Mm. Education. What is education? They say it is to pour into you lies, basically, right? They say it is to pour into you facts, but our education is to draw out the God and goddess in you. My OG here, Dr. Ray Wimbush, has written a book called The Warrior Method, where he talks about the rites of passage programs. Yes. And it is a process by which a man and woman go through stages of life, stage by stage by stage, taught by the elders on how they should live, the things that they should do, what is it expected of them, and how to survive in the society that they live. So we must have the reinstitution of our own rites of passage programs. The United Nations knows that uh, we are owed reparations. And they should uh, sanction those that owe us reparations. And America is not the only one. But they should sanction, put pressure on all of those that owe us not just money, because our reparations must have land. Yes, sir. I have worked diligently. I was telling my Baba, my OG, Baba Victor Gibson, that my ancestors left me breadcrumbs because we worked very hard and suffered to go all the way back and follow those crumbs that were left. And we know who purchased us on the shores of South Carolina, it's on my father's side, the shores of my father's father's side, on the shores of South Carolina, a white man by the name of Foster, Hugh Foster, a practitioner of devilishment. My great grandmother's name was Aleph, A-L-I-F-F. -F. They, they, they wrote it down incorrectly on the census because it's Alifa. Alif is the masculine form, Alifa is the feminine form. But they said Aleph was married to Sterling. Now we know Sterling is very clearly male. not only male, but white. You know, that's a white person's name that they gave my great grandfather. So Alifa is an Arabic name. So that's giving me a hint, right? That's a breadcrumb. But Aleph is also the first letter of the Hebrew language. Without going through the long story, my family are Hebrews. My family are what they call Jews, but we consider ourselves Hebrews. There, are, there was a holocaust in Portugal of black Jews. We're talking about education. But this is what's been stolen from us. So we must have land. We must have the institutions, the monies, the knowledge given to us that was stolen from us on how to 
rebuild our institutions. The science and mathematics, we have to have the professors to, to come to our institutions, science and mathematics, not history and culture, <laughs> science and mathematics to transfer the knowledge that was taken from us. These have to be implemented through our own institutions. What already exists to implement these institutions, uh, my, my OG, Sister Soldier, Mama and Kichi, enlightened us about the organization of NARC yesterday. And NARC has done a significant study on how we are to collect those monies and reinstill those dollars, gold, silver. We don't want white paper with white people's faces. We need gold, silver, precious metals. We need land that is productive. 